Well, hi ho folks, and welcome back to Turwinkle vs. Zorts and the Iron Man Extreme Challenge. And we are here back in front of the Thunderbrew Distillery, or I think that's right, Distillery. Yes, indeed. And, <laughs> and we got some mail from the auction house, and we did sell a recipe for nine gold. Boy, folks, I'm telling you, come to the distillery, get that quest for the uh, roasted beer basted four ribs and you will get at least 10 gold on that little quest on selling that and well unless you want the uh, recipe that is and uh and you're not doing iron man and you can use the buff food okay so what are we doing oh we are going to the windigo cave now this is a dangerous dangerous area and so we're going to head on in now today we are actually recording after the goblin over relaxing on his tropical island in the South Seas, enjoying himself, playing with monkeys, having a good time over there. I, I tell you, it the difference between a real warrior and the one that Zorts pretends to be is just, you know, it is amazing. Because we're, we're out here, Turwinkle's out here doing some work. You know, he's, he's busting butt. Oh, good. Look at that. A nice little uh, small black pouch. That helps. Okay. Those boars aren't going to attack me. We have ten of these Wendigos to kill. And we have to go into the cave as well. Now, these are level... What level are the Wendigos? They are level five. We're level seven, so we should be okay. But those are the young Wendigos. So we got to be a little bit careful here. We don't want to get, you know, we don't want to get, uh, pull too many at once. Here comes one. Okay. Let's build up some rage. Here we go. And, but, too far away. Oh. oh, he's dead. Okay. So as I was saying, you know, first of all, he, every time, it, it seems like Zorks is, is doing something. He's, he's got friends helping him out. You know, he's getting rides on on tigers and lions. He's 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 fighting fighting weeds, weeds. You know, <laughs> let me tell you, we're here doing work. We're fighting actual monsters. He's out there, you know, cutting weeds. Oh, huh. I need a target. Again, I, I've... Ooh, loose chain boots. Is that an upgrade for us? Oh, it's the same. Mine are light metal. Let's see what these... Let's see what these look like. Oh, those aren't too bad. Let's see. Oh, they look exactly... <laughs> they look exactly the same. Yeah, okay. So we can just sell those. Alright. So again, going into a cave is never a good situation. You can get surrounded pretty easily, so we have to take it take it easy. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, come on. Cut down weeds. I mean, you can obviously you can obviously see who's I don't have a who's doing the work here, guys. You know, he's he's taking pictures. It's, it's like he's on hol holiday. I, again, I know Zorts is the more experienced. Iron Man player here. But come on. You know? You, you can relax and take it easy to a certain point, uh, but I think it's gonna I think that's gonna be the thing that, that gets him. You know, when you're relaxing I get something first. on an island in the South Seas. You know, sipping your pina coladas and and uh, you know that's it's that's it's what makes you sloppy. Here we go. There we go. Wow. All right. So, <laughs> and you know, him calling us names, calling us a snot like Gillywex. If you if you refer to episode two, you know, or you know, saying that you know. Um, How are you? See you soon. Our lost homeland is nothing more than a radiated wasteland. You know, I I would never have thought that he would resort to such 
Such a low tactic. I mean, that was a horrible event for Turnwinkle's people. And to... Wow. Holy smokes, did you see that? One whack. But that was such a horrible event for Turnwinkle's people. And to, you know, say something like that, I just... I was amazed that he went there. Well, you know, that's goblins for What's you. Your... They'll go there. Be good. Okay, all right, Jermichael. Let's get this guy. There we go. We've got one more guy to find, and he's... He's over this way, I believe. Gotta go down here. <laughs> oh, over this way. Should be a tunnel this way, okay. And be, care be careful, Turwinkle. It's right over there. Let's uh, zip up there. I need to get closer. Now, before I get some emails, you know, um, <laughs> good job, Torrico. Before we get some emails, guys. Now, again, I, for, for I either Zords or myself, we are having a ball. This has been so much fun. Uh, just teasing one another and and having a great time. It's been a great competition so far. Um, Wait, these are all ready. We can just zip back this way. But we've been having a great time. And we are going to be on the Wild Challenges podcast on the 19th with Lita and Stone. We are very excited about it. And come and listen to that episode. Uh, it's going to be a ball. And I think Zorts and I are going to take our rivalry there. And I can't wait. <laughs> Let the zings fly back and forth. It's going to be a blast. All right, so let's turn these in. Let's see if we get anything good. Grizzled boots. I'm going to go leg... Oh, yes, please. Safe travels. I'm going to go leggings. Excellent. Okay, some more silver there. More silver and experience. Excellent. Oh, man. Look at this. Sharp axe, the gnarled staff, camping knife. Now oh, we're still. Is our our weapon is I think just as good. Okay, well, let's go do that. There's also a quest over here. Need assistance? We do. We do. Uh, the pog belt. Again, we we got some good. You oh, actually. Actually, while I'm thinking about it here, real quick, we'll take a minute here, real quick. Come up here. We'll see if we can't upgrade anything else while we're here. Let's see the weaponsmith. Great to meet you. Okay, three to seven, five to nine. Okay. Boy. Uh. Ta -ta -ta. The two hand, the wooden mallet actually does more damage. Well, so does the axe. Axe does more damage than this two-handed sword. I think we're going to go with the axe, guys. Going to go with the axe. See you soon. And the armor smith here. The finest wires in the land. We're going to take the light mail gloves. Boots are good, the belt's good, chest piece is good. Okay, these are level armor 9 and the pants we got are armor 6, so yes, we're going to go with these and the bracers as well. Okay, so let us go ahead and put on this new stuff. Oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's put on this new stuff. There we go. Excellent. And the bracers. There's that. And I think we are all armored up. We can sell this. The gauntlets. The initial bracers. The recruit pants. The windigo leggings. 
and the old two-handed sword. We've got the axe now. Ah, the stone buckler. Well, we'll put that in the bank. We'll hold on to it. If it's something that we decide that we're going to do, we're going to switch to going the one hand that will do that. So we'll, we'll hang on to that for now. Oh, and and uh, we also had in there just, just uh, our, our Zort skull. It's been lucky for us so far, and uh, we're happy with that. Luck is always good. Keep a nice luck piece in uh, with us. All right. I think there's someone that we can... S yeah, right down here, actually. We'll sell this drink, clear up a spot, and we are on our way. Hello. Talk to me. I will. And we're going to sell off this refreshing spring water. Talk with you. Okay. So let's go do some work. Here we are about 11 minutes in. So we'd like to get this done and I think these are the last few quests here. Um, we have some I think over at the steel mill. All right. Now this is a little dangerous area over here as well. Let's do some work here. Right it right to the next guy here. Good job, good job, good job, Terminkle. Two gears. Let's free this guy over here. Again, I need to scooch back a little bit. And burn that down. Move right on to the next one here. Which is right here. Burn it down. Let's get this guy out of the way. Bam. Not enough rain. Okay. Get, get angry, Turwinkle. Get angry. You know, just think of all the things, the horrible, horrible things Sorts of said, and that should fuel you with enough rage to last you this entire series. <laughs> now, now, let me point out that Zorts has repeatedly tried to malign me and say that I'm the one not being the gentleman here. And I just would like to say, folks, that Terminkle and I have been nothing but. We've tried to be, you know, nothing but gracious. But, you know, when you're making comments, like calling our beloved homeland that was so savagely destroyed. All right, excellent. Level 8. That's what we'd like to see. But our... our Poor homeland, so viciously destroyed. Uh, just that radiated wasteland. Oh, just the the shivers that go down my spine. I, I had to restrain Turnwinkle from the, you know selling across the sea to take it up personally with sorts. So you know, I think I think uh, you know Turnwinkle has done an admirable job at holding his tongue and uh, not stooping to the goblin levels. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, again. <laughs> Working our way through here, we got two more gears to get. Two more gears. Because we just rocked on it, didn't we? And that should be it. Indeed it is. We're ready to turn these in. Let's make our way back across. We'll take this guy out. And ba bam Take him down. You know, and while we're dropping truths here, uh, I think in the last episode, Zort says he was dropping truth about Turwinkle. You know, uh, Turwi Zort's the tough guy. Let me tell you, folks. He plays the tough guy, and, you know, he, he, he has that goblin persona that he puts on. But the truth is about Zort's a big softy, folks. Big softy. The guy has a heart of gold 
don't let him fool you. You know, don't let him, you know, pretend like, oh, I, you know, I'm, My, you're a tall I'm rough one. And, and, and tumble. The guy is a softy. You know, the nicest guy you'll want to meet. Then. And, uh, you know, he likes to play that, you know, he's just this tough guy and really just a nice, nice gentleman. Okay, so we're off to Still Grills. I'm going to go talk to the Still Grill Depot. And I believe we are done here in Karnos. I believe that was it because we are off to use some actual technology, not this cobbled together goblin stuff, but some actual technology. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean when we get there. Still Grill Depot. There used to be some awesome quests here dealing with uh, the steam tanks. And it looks like they have moved on from that. And here we are. Greetings. Greetings, Delber. Delber Crank Toggle. Use the ultra safe personnel launcher to deploy to the Frost, frost Main Retreat. Alrighty then. Okay, see, now this, guys, right here, this. This is goblin technology right here. Now, you know, the little town in the box, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something that, you know, again, what you're going to find is amazing. Now, watch this. And away we go. Look at this. Now, you tell me the goblins have something better than that. And deploy this parachute. Bada bing, bada boom. So wherever you want to go, it'll put you. Is that not amazing? It is awesome stuff. Okay. Can I help you? You can indeed. Daylight's burning. Here we have some quests here. New frost main belt. Eh. And some boots, which are the same, but they, they might you. look better. Strike from above, and then we right. can also call in, that's right, an Air Force. Hey. Okay, and we get to shrink up now. some, uh, shrink up some guys, but let's take care of some of these guards out here. Close in a little bit here, a little bit. Okay, these guys are a little tougher, so we have to take it a little easy. Okay, we'll shrink this guy with our... Look at that. Again, Nomus technology at its best. Take care of this guy. Oh, we got two here. Okay. Victory Rush Warrior's Friend, guys. It's totally the Warrior's Friend. Oh. It delivers a nice blow. And it also restores your health, which is great to keep you rolling right along. And that's what we definitely need. Alright, so battle our way in here. Come on, you. It's too far away. Oh. Okay, let's keep an eye out for. I'll shrink this guy. Okay, do, do, do. shrink of this guy. One more. And shrink this guy. Closer. There we go. And then let's go ahead and call in the Gnomish Air Force. Okay, now watch this, guys. That's right. Not floating in on, you know, cheesy air balloons. No. That you can just, you know, pop and, and drop out of the sky. No. That is, and firing missiles. 
Goblin would have dropped a big old bomb. You know. Come on. Okay. This guy here. Let's close in on him. Hopefully. Okay, this guy's going to be a little tougher. He's got the big ol' axe. Okay, now he's turned into a troll. Okay, we got a guy here. Okay. Those two, excellent. We've got to just clear out, I think, this area over here. Oh, one more warrior. Excellent. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys another example of the awesome... I'm out of range! Oh. <laughs> okay. The awesome... Gnomish Air Force. Then again. I don't even have to worry about this warrior on me right now. I'm just in awe. Awe. Okay, that <laughs> I, I was being a little silly there. Now, let's go turn these in. One, two, three, boom, boom, boom. We've got about nine more minutes. Maybe give us enough time to get over to the Amberstill Ranch. <laughs> to do some battling over there. All right. Interesting. It in interesting indeed. Off the way. Fifty quests completed. We are doing well. Greetings. And these two here. And we will take the boots and we'll check those out. We they might like to look it up better. And there we go. Level number nine. Defensive stance. Okay, and it talks about these here. All right, Have head off to. Now. Amberstill Ranch, which is this way. Fight a guy here. After we fight him, we'll check out the food, see if we like him. We like the look of him. Alright. A patchwork belt there as well. Let's check that out. No, that's only two. Two armor. Oh, you. I'm looking at my boots. Okay, let's see. Oh. oh, I do like those better. I like those a lot better. They look like they're a lot more comfortable and would be warmer out here. Because again, we're not we're not in the tropical sun like some folks. We're in the harsh winter land. Doing some actual work. Again, we're not playing with monkeys, we're not mowing the grass. We're doing warrior's work here, guys. <laughs> All right. So again, we have about seven minutes. So let's see what we can accomplish here in the seven minutes. Amber Steel Ranch over here. Let's see what we got going on at Amber Steel Ranch. All right, so right here, Sergeant Flint Hammer. Great to meet you. See you soon. Well met. Hmm. All right, we'll accept this Be quest. Good. So we have to defend the ranch. So come on, come on. This, this always takes a little bit of time to get rolling here. Maybe while we're waiting, we can sell some stuff real quick. What's on your mind? Sell that. Sell that. I don't think that's. Yeah. Sell that. And the gnarled staff. Okay. Watch your back. We're taking our rams, you son of guns. Okay. All right. Little do they know, they are facing Termical. Let's get back here. Give us some room to... Uh... Oh, we'll get them, all right. We'll get them. 
Come on. And there we go. Let's charge him. Come on. Let's get this guy. Let's get, take this guy down, Jungle. Am I not close enough? Take him down. There we go. And the bam. There we go. Now we're rolling. Now we're getting to roll. There we go. This two-handed axe is a little slow. But it does do some good damage. And, okay, there's another one down. Oh, I think we... Again, turn with the big storks. Build that rage. It. Bring it, bring it, bring it, troll. All right, defended the ranch. Well done, nicely done. No. Okay, it says to sell this. Let us see what this would look like. Uh, you really can't see it, can you? We reset. Ah, uh, you can't see a little bit of it. I think. Let's see it again there. 76 silver to 41. Oh, let's... Keep your feet on the ground! We're just spending too much time, sh you know, shopping here. Okay, so let's grab these two quests here. I think we can... Hi. Hello. Except Watch this... Your back. Well... How are ya? I'm good. Okay. Off with you. Now I know there's a path over here to get up to the... Instead of going all the way around, I found this on my... Well, let's play a booch. There's a trail over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. It gets you right up here. Before I thought you had to go all the way around the mountain. There's a trail on the other side of the mountain. Oh, there he is. He's level 9 with us, so we got to be careful. Oh! Dang nabbit. I have to run here. Oh, we're stunned. Crap. Alright, let's... Come on. Okay, we're... Oh, oh man. Got a little nervous there. Got a little nervous. That was... Whew. We did get that charge in, and that really would have... Oh, my gosh. All right. Whew. Got the heart going there. Well done, Terwinkle. Well done. Again, that axe seems a little slow. I don't know. We'll see if we come across something a little better. Might be a little faster. Again, still toying with the idea of using the shield and the... Um, That would look pretty cool. That looks actually pretty nice, but um, we'll take the trousers and sell those. Be good. 700 more experience. Let's see. Uh, we don't have enough time, folks, to hit the next quest. So, oh. so there we go. Actually got uh, another couple levels. So we're at level 9, which is really good. Let's take a look at Turwinkle now. We are sitting with our fallout cover. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We also have our light mail armor, light mail bracers, our large axe, uh, bad axe bloody boots, light mail leggings, light mail belt, and light mail gloves now. And so our armor is sitting at 47. So not too shabby. Now, in the comments below, let me know if you think we should go with the one hand and the shield. It may be a little slower on the damage, but the protection will be there a little bit more. So let me know in the comments below if you think that's the route we should take, or if we should continue with our uh, two-handed axe there. All right, so excellent. Level nine, there you go. Well, well done. Whoop, a little too close there. <laughs> All right, well, well done, Turwinkle. Excellent job, sir. And Turwinkle, we will see you next time. It's been fun. It has been fun. Bye-bye.